Friends over at Guido's Meats in Pompano Beach, Florida, gave us this interesting piece of meat. I guess maybe I've had my head stuck in the sand for a while, but we're gonna cook up some ostrich this week. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this. I've never had it before, um, so it's gonna be a first. If you've never had it before, we're enjoying it together for the first time. How cool is that, all right? So it's very basic prep. We're gonna cook it direct, and we're gonna use what's called the JKF method. It's called Just Keep Flipping. We're gonna use this and just keep flipping it about every 20 or 30 seconds until we have a nice crust on it, until it reaches, reaches a nice medium rare. So, and also, while I have you, if you would, subscribe to our channel, hit like, give us a thumbs up, all right? And leave us a comment. We'd love to hear what you guys think. Now let's go ahead and cut this open and see what we've got here. I'm interested. So what I've been reading about this is that it's supposed to be very similar to filet mignon. Now that's what I've heard. It looks very familiar. It looks a lot like filet mignon to me. It smells like beef. It looks beautiful. There's no marbling. I can see that. You know, most a lot of poultry, things like that, duck. Duck has a lot of fat, but again, you know, this is a little bit different. I don't see any marbling in this whatsoever. We're gonna use PS Seasonings Chop Shop today. Uh, you can see it's a really nicely colored, lots of garlic and pepper and everything in here. Uh, it's a grinder, so we're gonna grind it right onto the steak itself. We're just gonna clean up this little bit of silver skin that's on here. I don't even know if it's necessary, but might as well. And that is our ostrich steak, all nice and cleaned up. Actually, this one's really cool. It has two settings. You push it down, it grinds fine. But if you pull it out, it grinds rough, gives you a rougher chop. I'm gonna do a little bit of both on this because who knows how it's gonna adhere. Now, even though it looks like steak, make no mistake about it, this is a bird, this is ostrich. I don't know if it's considered foul or not, but it doesn't smell foul. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the difference, wow. Boom, our ostrich is fully seasoned and it's ready to go. So we're gonna let that sit and heat up. While it's doing that, we're gonna talk about charcoal for a second. Now we're gonna do a fast, hot cook with this one. So we don't wanna go low and slow. So we're gonna use our premium black bag charcoal this week. We're gonna bring it in the M16 grill. We're gonna light it up. We're gonna let it get nice and hot and torch this baby. I can't wait. So as you can see, we're gonna use a different grill this week. This is called the M Grills M16. Now this thing was basically used all over for SCA steak, -off, steak cook off competitions and they're winning them all over the place. It's got vents all over it. You can cook indirect on it, you can cook direct. It just depends how you set it up. Fire's nice and hot, let's put this baby on. Now don't forget, we're gonna be using the JKF method, just keep flipping. So about every 20, 30 seconds, we're gonna flip this thing. This is only ostrich, it's not regular steak, so the temperature's a little bit different. We're gonna cook this to about 145 degrees internal temperature. And lastly, my favorite, finished off with just a little bit of black Himalayan lava salt. As you can see, we kind of overcooked it a little bit, but I'm really excited to try it. Sort of excited to try it. Nervous to try it. It looks like steak. I mean, it looks exactly like steak. So uh, wish me luck. If you blindfold me, it tastes exactly like steak. If, if you blindfolded me and fed me this, and fed me a piece of filet mignon, I wouldn't know the difference. Anyway, 
It's it's really good. I mean, it's it's it has the same consistency as, as beef. If you've never tried it, give it a shot. Um, it's delicious. I, I really enjoyed it. I would, I would definitely eat this again. Um, again, remember, subscribe to our channel. Hit like. Give us a comment. And most of all, thank you so much for tuning in for another week of the Fogo Life. We'll see you next week.